Making stickers with your Cricut is a super fun and easy process, but sometimes we end up with stickers cut out the way we didn't want them. And you guys, this isn't rocket science, right? It should be super simple where we just send it off to our printer and print out the stickers we want and have the Cricut cut it out. Yet sometimes the Cricut wants to cut out every single little piece separately, which is definitely not what we're going for. So today I'm here to walk you through how to format in Cricut Design Space the proper way to set it up to cut out the stickers so it's just cutting out one piece at a time. Hey, I'm Sarah. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming tutorials. Like when we're gonna walk through how to laminate and cut out these stickers. And if you've been here before, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Now let's get started. So what we're gonna do first is in Cricut Design Space, I'm gonna head to my uploads and upload an image that we will use for our stickers today. Just scrolling through, I think I will grab this little cupcake looking thing here and add it to my canvas. And then I'm also going to grab a rainbow and add that to my canvas. And I'll click view. And here they will be on my blank canvas. Now I'm gonna grab a text box here and I am going to just put in happy birthday. And then I will move this up above and change the color. Now when you're picking a color, if you don't see the color that you really want in the options that they give you here, you can always come down to this plus sign where it says advanced, and then you can pick any color that you want. And if you know the specific code, you can always put that down in the bottom there and it will give you the exact color that you want. But I'm gonna pick this color for now for the happy birthday. And then I am going to just play around with this and move it and I'm going to curve this so it's down the sides of this cupcake. And after I have everything where I think I would like it, I am going to take both of these images and I am going to flatten them after I hide the rainbow just to get it out of the way for now. So what I'm gonna do is click and drag over both of these images, so the text and this cupcake looking thing, which I used the IA feature in Canva to make, which was very interesting, and I'm gonna flatten this. Now, a lot of times when you're doing stickers or a print then cut, you think that that is all you have to do, right? They tell you all the time just to flatten it and then you'll be fine. But this is where you run into the problem of having the Cricut want to cut out every single letter and graphic that you might have here separately, which is definitely not what we want to do. So there is a way that you can fix this and that is by hitting this offset button. Now, as you can see, it dropped this outline around it and using this slider up above here, you can make that as big or as small as you would like. So whatever your preference is. Some people like to cut it out where there's this outline around it, but then there's some gaps here where your sticker will be connected in some spots, but not all the way around. Now, I like to have it connected on all the parts here. So I'm going to go back up to the slider and adjust this so that all these letters just touch where I know it's going to be one solid cut. So as you can see here now by the H and the Y, there aren't any open gaps down here, it's all touching. And then you're going to hit apply. Now you can move this offset to the side. And as you can see, there are a few open spaces here. So now what people will tell you to do is to contour this so that it just takes those empty spaces and it like fills them in so that the Cricut will only do one big cut. But as you can see down here in the right bottom corner, the contour button is not an option. And there's a simple reason and solution as to why that isn't there. Now, as you can see up here, it says it is a print then cut. And that is because when you made the offset, 
you had already flattened your image. So all you need to do is hit that button at the top there to basic cut and now your contour option is available once again. So now you can come up here and either click on each piece or hit hide all contours and it will gray those pieces out. And then when you just X out of here, you will see that this is all one piece. And that is what you want so that you can take this image again and lay it over the top. Now you could cut, you could highlight both of these and hit align and center to get them all perfectly centered again. But I am just going to place it on here and change this background to white. Now, if you're using a white vinyl sticker paper or paper um, that you're cutting out on, this will have a white outline. If you are printing on a clear uh, paper or sticker paper, it will be a clear outline. It just depends because white doesn't print. It's not an ink color. So now you can see this is all um, two layers yet. There's the flattened piece and the offset. So what I did here was I clicked and highlighted both pieces and hit flatten. And now you have one layer and one object. Now because this is a little hard to see with the white on white, I went and hit that blank canvas and I'm just going to change the color of my background. If you didn't know you could do that, you can at any time just change the color of that canvas. And now I'm gonna click on this again and I have all my options available back up at the top. So I'm going to size this to however I want. It is one piece. You would have to unflatten this if you needed to make any adjustments to any part of this design now. So it will be one cut with your Cricut. Now another thing you can do, and we will grab this rainbow back and make this a little bit bigger so that we can work with the rainbow. Because there are so many different options when you're working with images and text and your offsets to set up for perfect stickers. So here, as you can see, this has the yellow showing behind it, which means if you were to send this to the Cricut to cut after you flattened it, it would cut out each arch separately. And that is definitely not what we want. So once again, grabbing a text box, I am just going to put in sunny days and then I'm gonna go up to the fonts and change the font. Now, the system fonts are the ones that you download yourself and the bookmark fonts are the ones that you just bookmark that you probably use more often. I'm going to come down here and grab my Retro Magic, which I got off of Creative Fabrica. I will have that linked down below if you wanna check that font out later. It's my favorite retro one, I use this quite often. But sizing it down so that it fits just underneath here, I am going to work with sizing and then with offset options. Now we're gonna change the color. And as you can see, the colors from the rainbow that I have here are up on the top. So I'm going to click the first one, which is that larger arch of my rainbow. And then I'm going to just highlight the words and hit offset. And here you can change the offset to whatever size you want again. And because this is going to be a sticker and it won't cut out every little letter separately, I'm going to make this one really kind of skinny just to give it a little bit of an outline so that it stands out better. And there I have the black on here. And now I am going to grab all these parts. So click, hold, and drag over all of it and hit offset one more time. And as you can see now, it automatically will use the same size of the outline that you used or the offset as before. And this too would still just cut out every little part separately, which is not what I want. So I'm gonna make this bigger so that it encloses all of the rainbow and the words together. And then when I'm happy with how big it is and where it's all touching and opened spaces, I am going to hit apply. 
Now, as you can see here, because it is still in the basic cut, I did not flatten the rainbow to the words at all yet. So the contour option is already here and I can click on that offset and either again, go one by one and click these or you can come down and hit hide all contour and then click out and you will see you have one solid piece. Now you can play around with the coloring. Obviously, if you pick anything but white, that's the color that will show when you print this. Here's where your flexibility comes in because you can really do just about anything as long as it's all flattened to one big object or offset. So what I'm gonna do is come over to the side here and find the sunny days offset. And I am going to change the color of this. I think I'm going to change it to the gray that I have the rest of the offset as for now. And then I'm going to change the offset to black. And I think that looks much better. So now what I'm gonna do is click on this rainbow and I am going to give it a slight offset like I did on the sunny days. And I think I do about a 0 0.042 on the rainbow and hit apply. Now, because it's set to offset, it automatically goes to black. So I'm gonna come down here and change the color to gray. And now you can see it just stands out off of that offset a little bit better. And I think I'm happy with this. So I am going to click and hold drag over all of this so that you get all the pieces. And then I'm going to come back down to the bottom and hit flatten. Now on the right panel, as you can see, it just took away all those layers and now you are left with one flattened design. So you are ready to print and cut and whether it's a sticker or you're cutting this out of like, I don't know, cardstock, something else, you are ready to come up here and hit make it. And then it will walk you through the steps to send it to your printer and all of those other things. But this is the basic format of how you would need to have an object or an offset behind your sticker image that you want to cut out. So you avoid having the Cricut wanting to cut out every single little letter and piece. So make sure you like and subscribe so that you don't miss when we do the next part of making stickers on how to print this out, laminate it, and cut it on your Cricut.